it's Julia Jordan, your favorite real estate agent. I am back to my cashmere sweater and it is a cold day in Texas. Some people think I don't have other pullovers. I just have this, but it is, let me take these out. But it is like your favorite real estate agent. There might be many, but in the end on a cold day, you know what to pick like your real estate agent when the market is tricky. There may be many agents that you know, but then there is one that you trust with your sale and your purchase. I'm coming to you today with five reasons why you could sell, should sell your home this year. And at the very end, you get a bonus point. Isn't that exciting? Okie dokie. So the first reason why you should sell your house in this wild market in 2023 is we have our buyers these days, super solid pre-approved. Uh, who wants to buy in this market really knows what's going on. They're educated. They come in with their agent. They come in with their little pre-approval letter and they're ready to go. They know how to buy a house. Okay. Those buyers are educated. Point number two, there is less competition on the listing side. We do not have as much inventory. We have about a third less inventory that also helps you to keep your uh, price stable. And it doesn't matter if you have luxury, if you have average price point, or even let's say you have a house inherited or wherever from the roof is le leaky and you don't have carpet, you live on the slab um, and you just need to get rid of a house that is ran down. Those sell as well. We have low inventory for everything. Thing. flip homes and I have a large investor portfolio that is hungry um, regular buyers middle price range and then also luxury we have high demand for everything and we don't have many listings on the market let me run the numbers for your subdivision and let's see what your house is worth and let's uh, see how quick they turn over in your neighborhood and probably you will be very surprised most homes we see a multiple offer situation I just put a listing up next week and and we will have a multiple office situation. I already know that there is no way around. We're the only house left and right. There's nothing in the closer neighborhood and we will be like the shining star and the house will sell like sliced bread. So that's not a story. You can see it on my HR happens over and over again. You just need to know how to list a house. And I do, and I will share it with you. Uh, also, my point number three is it got easier to buy and sell a house at the same market. You don't want to be homeless, right? And I get that naturally. You don't want to live in your car with your three kids and your cat and your dog. You want to sell a house and same time you want to upgrade, upgrade, downsize, move into a different city and it all has to be orchestrated at the same time. You don't want to live in your car in between, okay? So the, this got much easier um, because in this market, it is very easy to sell, but on the buyer side, the market also slowed down a little bit. It is not that you are competing with 200 buyers and it is likely that you lose out on a property as long as you know how to write an offer. And if you don't know, find an agent that does like me, for example, um, how to get a house under contract. I have right now clients and they are very hesitant. They're like, yeah, we are so picky on the buyer side. We are very particular with what we want. And I'm very very confident that I can help them okay and sometimes I borrow some of my strength to my clients because what I do all day every day for them I basically ask them to jump from a cliff and trust me that the parachute will open so I know what I'm asking for it's a lot but it works all day every day and I explain it to you so you guys can follow and actually stand behind that okay let me see um, that was point number four already buy and sell in the same market um, oh no I'm sorry uh, sell and buy easy at the same time that was point number three point number four is buy and sell in the same market some people say yeah but I don't get what I got last year for the house or blah 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 uh, interest rate is high or whatever you are selling in the same market like you're buying. So um, while you are getting more for your house the last year, you got more for your house, you also paid more and the competition was fierce. So it was not 100% clear um, that we would get you the next house or how expensive it would get 
to get you into that house. That got easier this year. You are selling for a same value, similar value like you're buying, okay? So these clients, for example, right now, they're selling in one neighborhood for 500 and they're buying in the next neighborhood for 500. Maybe last year they would have gotten 550, but then most likely that it would also have been asked to pay 550. Okay, so you're not winning, you're not losing there. Also, a little sidetrack uh, when you're selling and buying at the same time and you're like, yeah, but hold on a second, there is house value, but then there is also interest rate. I just come uh, from the phone with one of my preferred lenders and he said with a 3-2 buy down, how that works for three years, you're buying down the interest rate. Most of the time he said he sees it right now that the seller pays for it. Um, you bring down your interest rate the first year to 3.5%. Imagine that, 3.5, next year 4.5, third year 5.5. And hopefully in those three years, you find a time window where you can refi and there will be no lender fees. So they don't charge you for appraisal. They don't charge you, what did he tell me? He tell, told me all the things that they don't. No underwriting fees, no appraisal. The only thing you have to pay for, again, is title policy because that, of course, has always done be done uh, through title company. But if you stay with the same title company, they give you a very generous cut on that. So the refi is not like in the past a full refi, a refi and very expensive. Okay, that was a little side note. Don't let me get distracted here with all this adventurous real estate stuff. Um, I wrote down buyers do not buy the rate anymore, but right now they do buy the house. What, how is that interesting for the seller you ask? And that's a good question. I'm glad you're asking. So, um, the last two years, people, when they were on the buyer side, had to offer 100K over asking and their firstborn son. The problem is they continued looking and they just needed to lock in a house because at one point, naturally, they didn't want to live in their car with their cat and their dog and their three kids and their wife, but they needed a house. So what they would do is they would offer whatever it took to take a house off the market. They kept looking because they were like, oh my gosh, we're crazy. We paid too much. It's not the ideal house. We're missing a bedroom doesn't have the pool that we wanted or has a pool and we don't want a pool, but we simply need a house. So let's put an offer on it. Let's get it under contract. What ended up giving us about 25% fallout rate. So the seller thought, yay, we have the house under contract. No, nana boo boo. The buyer just locked in whichever rate, just that they're not homeless. And 25% of the contracts would not see the closing table. What meant for us real estate agent, we would execute backup buyers and that was not so difficult because we had usually enough. But it is much more solid to find the right buyer, super pre-qualified, super solid financially, and then move forward to the closing table, sell this house, buy the next house, boom. Everybody is happy and everybody is in the house where they want to be in, okay? And then the bonus point, actually, I cheated on myself. I told you that already early, the buy-down rate, but I mentioned it again because it's just too good. Uh, too good to be true? No, actually not. It's actually true. Uh, buy down of the rate temporarily, difficult word for me as a foreigner, temporarily or permanently. Um, I personally like permanently and the lender that I just talked to prefers that as well. What means seller, buyer, whoever, someone pays to buy down the rate for forever. Yeah. So you don't need to go through the hassle to refi and you're completely taken out of the loop of needing to worry about where does interest rate go and will you be able to refi? Yes, no, maybe. Um, but also the temporary buy down is super interesting. The lender I talked to today, he thinks next six to 12 months interest rate will come down. I doubt that a little bit because I do personally believe when interest rate comes down, inflation will skyrocket even more because everybody will just go crazy about the houses because right now they already missed out for about a year. Yeah. People are already a little bit on the break regarding real estate for a year now. Last year at this time, everybody got a little bit careful, okay? So um, I believe when they lower interest rate, it will just create a mega hype and prices will go skyrocketing, or skyrocketing again and we will just have again what we had last year. And I personally think they are too afraid of that. Okie dokie, but that's just personal opinion. So long story short, if you wanna sell a house in this market, like me with my cashmere pullover, Pick the right agent. 
there are many agents, there are many pullovers out there when it is a cold day, when it is a difficult market. You want to pick your agent wisely, uh, someone who stays on the market, someone is hungry. Uh, my bills are paid still. I'm so hungry for my clients. I want to educate them. This morning I had a mastermind call. I had a tricky situation and 10 other agent masterminded and said you can go this direction you can help your client that way and i'm like oh genius two of those ideas i actually did not uh, bring up yet to my client and i brought it up and it solved his problem so that's the kind of agent you want to hire for your transaction not only friend of a friend that you feel obligated to i understand that be very generous write them a check 5k say here thank you very much we i know we are friends i don't want to mess it up here's 5k i support you and your family i know you need to keep the lights on too but then if you need to buy or sell go with the agent that just simply knows their business and puts the most money in your pocket and i tell you what the 5k that you simply give out as a blessing as a present will pay off for you as well with the other agent that simply knows their stuff how to get your house sold for top dollar, how to uh, get your under contract negotiating for you. And it's the same system, just the other way flipped around. And if you're on both ends represented by a top agent, you're winning double. Do you get that? <laughs> I'm only winning because the other side doesn't do all of this. That's the only reason why I'm winning because the threshold in our industry is pretty easy to get into real estate. So we are uh, working with a lot of agents that just throw a property on the market. They basically just take instructions of the seller and it doesn't matter if the, let's say right now, let's say, of course, my seller would love to not get 500 for the house, but 600 comes a new agent, comes an agent that, that doesn't do that all the time. They will simply speak after their mouth and say, oh yeah, I will throw it on the MLS. They will use nicer words. I will list your property for 600,000. I believe in you, I believe in you. I believe in you doesn't work okay we see all these listings go stale and then we see other houses they get listed for 500 and it's a competitive price and then with the bidding war the price goes up and that's why some agents right now say oh it's just a slow market and then other other agents like me say oh i had a multiple offer situation again well it's not rocket science and if those agents would listen to this youtube video or to this facebook video they would simply knock it off and do the same maybe not some know everything better. So this is, this is how I sell houses. This is how I help my buyers buy in this market. This is how we get a 3.5% interest rate. This is how we get a multiple offer situation in this market. I threw you out all the pearls already. You guys just need to pick it up. Let's sell your house. Let's buy your house. If you need any help for your friends or family, uh, people that you love where you don't want them to miss out on opportunities where you don't want them to miss out on pure cash uh, and very sorry to say that um, but it is of course keeping the most money in your pocket when you're buying putting the most money in your pocket when you're selling that's my old, my whole job and you see I'm quite obsessed with that um, and I would be honored to work for you or to work for your peeps for your family friends okay so send them my way a three-way text message is always the best way to introduce me thank you Chuck for for watching I wish all of you a wonderful day talk to you soon okay bye bye